Fernandinho has been great for Manchester City. His athleticism and versatility have been massive to the club. Last year he looked great under Guardiola. However, his contract is up at the end of the year, and he is 32 years old. Playing out of the defensive midfield position, right back and left back he has been a great servant, but it is time to move on. Fernandinho hasn't looked the same this year. While he still has the ability to sniff out counter-attacks his passing hasn't been great this year. The defensive midfield position is key in the Guardiola system. He needs someone who can spray passes all around the pitch and become under pressure, while also being smart enough to be in good positions, make tackles, and stop counter-attacks. This sounds like a difficult proposition, and few players in the world have this ability. Think Busquets when you think of the ideal player for this position. Fernandinho is getting older, and I doubt his ability to be the passer that links defense and midfield. He can serve a role of the bench in the future, but I prefer those spots be given to other young midfielders. The other reason I don't want City to resign Fernandinho is I expect there to be investment in this position. I can think of two players on other teams that I would love to see City sign in the next summer transfer window. Julian Wakel of Dortmund is the ideal target for next year. He fits the profile to a T and, if City can sign him, he would provide a massive boost to this system. The next player is Jorginho from Napoli. He is another player who fits the profile. He is playing in a Guardiola-like side in Napoli. They play very good soccer, build out from the back, and pass like a Guardiola side. City will get to see their system and Jorginho up close in the Champions League group stage. I expect Guardiola to look out there and see an Italian player who can fit in seamlessly to the City side. The same situation last year, when Guardiola got up close views to Mendy and Silva boss his side in the Champions League, he will get that with Jorginho this year. Sergi Samper, currently on loan at Las Palmas by way of Barcelona, is someone else that City can get on the cheap. He is someone who was brought through the La Masia style and knows the Guardiola way. He is a great passer and can find space. Watch these three players to be rumored to City next summer. The last reason that Fernandinho can be moved on from is that Manchester City has in-house replacements. Gundogan can slide into the defensive midfield position and spray passes. He isn't the defender you want in that position, but he is compassed on the ball and is an excellent passer. Alex Garcia is someone else I want to see in this position for City next year. When he played last year he is someone I was very impressed by. He is exceptionally gifted in his ability to pass and find space from that defensive midfield position. I thought it was a big mistake to loan him to Girona this year. He surely could have found playtime in the City squad and possibly have been a starter by year's end. Douglas Lewis, who was bought in the summer and on loan to Girona, is another player of this position. While he could be a Van Al situation, where he was bought to be sold and profited on, he could impress enough to crack the squad. City have plenty of options next year and Fernandinho isn't needed past this year. He has been a great servant, and I thank him for that City can find better options next year.